people of YouTube, Locke here, presenting the new, 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 I don't think I've ever told you guys about him, a kale. This is a persona I've been wanting to make for a very long time. He was actually my first persona, and now that I have gotten better at making fursuits, I decided to make him. He is a spook. It's a character, or not character, it is a species that I created myself. And, well, they're meant to look very dead and creepy. And I love it. As you can tell, his other half is not very finished. Or, neither is his ear. But, what do you think of him? I will give a very detailed character description on DeviantArt, which there will be a link to that journal in the description once I write that out. But feel free to make a spook. Just there will be some rules and guidelines that you'll have to follow just because, because I said so. But they're very easy. They're not hard rules to follow. So, yeah. Definitely give me an inbox to your spook if you do decide to draw one. Feel free to draw like concept art of him, I guess, if you want. I really don't care. Fan art, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. But as you can see, he's got a little little goatee and a very striped long tongue. Which all of them have. They don't have to be orange and green. They can be any color as long as it looks Halloween-ish. If it looks like it's something that should be like Halloween based, then you probably did a good job. But yeah. So, yeah. I don't really know what else to say here. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these eyes. I really like the way they look. But yeah, I probably will. I really like them. I'd have to make the other one. He's got a little skeleton nose here. Which I've yet to paint and put clear coat on to make it all shiny. I'll get to that eventually. The inside of his mouth is completely unfurred still. And he's his his mouth is actually hollow. So this tongue can be pushed back in there if need be, make it smaller or non-existent, but I definitely like him with the tongue. So yeah, tell me what you guys think of him, and I will be sure to post another video once he's done fur, I'm done furring him and shaving it all down. This is still a little rough. I gotta finish that and do the inside of his head and get his mouth done and his teeth glued in. And the rest of this shaved and add some hair. Here is his quick reference sheet that I drew. It's kind of bad. It just kind of doodled it really quick. His original name was going to be Crawl. But I decided to change it to a kale because I like that a lot better. And here's a quick doodle of, again, quick doodle of what the tail will look like. Yes, they have mouths. Which I am working on right now as we speak. If I could just find the little foam piece that's supposed to be the head. It's here somewhere. Whatever. I'll find it eventually. Or is it in here? Oh, there it is. Yeah. This 
die. I currently have the duct tape dummy on there for him. Uh, what is this? A little piece. But, um, the inside of his mouth will be green with an orange tongue. And the inside of this little guy's mouth will be orange with a green tongue. But, yeah. I'm gonna make the tail, and I will probably make a video once I'm done with that, because as you can tell, it's gonna look pretty freaking cool. But, yeah. Bye, guys. I'm gonna continue working on a kale here, and I hope to hear from you soon. Like, I always am open for commissions. If you want me to make you a spook, I will gladly do that. I will think of a character for you. I will probably be selling pre-made spooks soon. Also, I will be selling spook plushies once I get my next shipment of fur in. So yeah, fair winds. Keep a close eye out for more updates on this guy and the other suits that I'm working on, but mostly this guy. Right. Bye!